view of a train station. Good evening from Hamburg Hofbenhof. By the way, if you're new here, we're Steph and Pete, and we're spending about a month traveling from Copenhagen to I'm Tbilisi. Not Pete. I'm not Pete. Who are you? I'm Haley. We're spending about a month traveling from Copenhagen to Tbilisi by train. And tonight, we're traveling from Hamburg to Vienna. This is our first overnight sleeper train of this trip. And it's got a pretty cool story. We're excited for this one, but we'll get settled on the train and then I'll tell you about it. We love an overnight train. Our train, not only are we carrying people, we're actually carrying cars. Cars! I mean, this is a first. I've never had a sleeper train that's also carrying cars. But we have no clue how to read our ticket. We're normally pretty good at this, but like, we can't figure out where we're supposed to be. This is very nice. Oh, they are the new ones! Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Very nice young gentleman on our carriage who not only offered to help get our bags on the train, he's now helping translate and give us information as to what's happening about our door being locked. So what did he tell us? Oh, so what he told us? <laughs> the crucial bit of information in that is that our door is locked and he told us that the train manager, guard or whatever, is going to come and unlock them when the train moves. Seems so, weird. Seems so very strange, but because there's a bunch of people waiting in the corridors. While we wait, it seems like a good time to tell you the story of the night jet, which I already forgot. Prior to 2016, Austrian Railways only operated a handful of night trains out of Vienna under the name Euronight. By the way, this information is from Seat 61, which is the best train website. We always talk about it. In 2015, Deutsche Bahn, the German railways, decided that they were gonna discontinue their city nightline sleeper service as of December 2016. So what Austrian railways did is they took a big risk and they purchased 42 of the German sleeper cars and a bunch of couchette cars too. And they took over most of the city nightline routes. That included a couple of routes that don't even include Austria. So you could be traveling from Hamburg to Munich, so basically the length of Germany, and be on an Austrian train. Fast forward to now, and it has been a commercial success. It was a good decision, and they operate the largest number of overnight sleeper trains in Central Europe. And they're continuing to expand. I believe the train that we're on is from 2003 to 2005, so about 20 years old. But as of last month, they're replacing a lot of the trains with this new generation of train cars. And the reason that I got so excited when we walked on this one is because they've renovated a couchette car on every night jet train service wagon. Like, there's one couchette car on most of the routes that has the new kind of version that we're seeing on the new trains. If train geeks are watching this, please correct me because I don't, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I get excited when I read it. Also, she's doing this after a full day of sightseeing and running around Hamburg. Um, it's like- And two beers. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock at night. Okay, whatever, get out of my way. I just want to be a, a train YouTuber. So if you like this video, give it a like. What I was saying is that there's 13 seven car sets that are due to start. I think they've started as of last month. We're not on one of those, but our Couchette is not just Couchette. It's Couchette Comfort, which has been remodeled to include the new design, which I can't wait to see. So I hope that that guy comes on soon to unlock our room. Otherwise, it's gonna be a sleepless night here in the hallway. It's, I mean, Hayes is like already asleep. It's basically. always so hot when you get on a train. By the way, this isn't our first train video. We've got loads. If you watch these videos, we appreciate you, because it feels like such chaos trying to make them. It's all part of the journey. So, bitte schön. They're so nice. Oh, wow. They're so nice. They're so nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ins I'm gonna insert a picture of the old ones. Just. What's that? You found those. No, First order of business is like <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie loves to just chuck it. That's your job. I Division like, of labor. I like to start getting our bags put away. And what's so great is that we don't travel with a huge amount of stuff. But look at this storage. Oh, wow. 
Excuse me. Feed up. Let you feed up. Is that my bag? Whoa. I'll mind if you have any good stuff. Okay. This is amazing. It should be amazing, given what we paid for it. Should I do a quick room tour? It says, I have strawberry sweet. I have strawberry sweet. Is what's your favorite part of this train? Ooh, cool. Strawberry sweet. <laughs> Hi, sorry. We're just getting sorted. Right, quick room tour. Come on in, Stephanie. Okay. First, let's quickly talk about the door. This is probably the most high-tech door that I've ever seen on an overnight sleeper train. You have a little peephole here. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, you have this lock, which is great. Very reassuring for a haze. And then like a double, like another lock. So, two locks. Really impressive. And then you got this lovely ladder, a little mirror. Uh, okay, obviously this is a four layout, and this is a private couchette comfort. Comfort is key because that's this new layout. So if you're looking at booking these trains and you see that, go for it because this is really, really nice. All right, um, these beds are cool. I mean, these are really wide. We've been on a couple of sleeper trains recently where hey! the lower bed has not been that wide. Uh, tons of space underneath, like you can tell you can tell this is a new layout because they really do prioritize no clutter underneath. Like, so you just got plenty of space. Uh, got these lovely controls over here. We've got the lights so you can actually, you know, dim, make that brighter, make that uh, darker. A temperature setting, hot and cold. I have put it on max cold. I'm not feeling that just yet. Uh, there's a volume control for like the announcements, but they just said actually, and I read this online, they stop announcements at 10 until 7 a.m. So in the respect of people sleeping, they don't make any announcements, which is great. Uh, I just love it. It's just, it all feels very clean, very new. I love this new sort of like inset lighting type deal. You've got plugs at each bed here, a light control at the bed, little pocket here to put your phone and stuff. Nice little table. It feels, I mean, this is probably one of the best bits about this so far for me, is that it feels really comfortable when it's in this mode. Um, because we're gonna be on this train until midday tomorrow. So we're gonna have a nice bit of time in the morning. Nice big window, feels like really, really comfy. Can I say something? And this isn't the nicest category on this train. We're in the couchettes. Above us, there's still a sleeper. I'm not sure, I should have looked up the difference because we still ah. get a sheet and a blanket. I think a sleeper comes with a sink and maybe on some select trains, maybe it comes with a toilet as well. So I think, and it, and it just sort of looks maybe a little bit more premium. Usually more padding. Yeah. But these are comfy. But the, this, I mean, we are going to be so, so happy in this. Like it's already the most spacious, well thought out sleeper I've ever been on, I think. Really, really impressive. Bold. Sorry, Caledonian sleeper. <laughs> different experience. Completely different experience. This is a... This is what you would expect from an Austrian train company. Found another feature. It's two blinds. You've got a one, which is like a night blackout blind. And then you have another one, which is just kind of like a screen that I'm sure you can kind of see through. So if it's pretty bright in the morning, you can put that down. Personally, I love sleeping with the windows open. I know that's like... Shades open. The shades open, sorry. Um, let us know in the comments, how do you like to sleep on a sleeper train? Shade down or shade up? I need to go on the Why? Because I don't want you to well, I want to sleep with you. No, you're going to sleep with mommy on the Where are you sleeping, Hayes? Here, but daddy's not sleeping with me. Will you come and visit me? Yeah, in the morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, great. Will you come up and say hi? And I'll bring the water if you're if you're if you're if you're coughing in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I hope I'm not, but thank you. I'm bringing two water for me and you. Hey, that was a great segue because I think we got some breakfast on this train. Do you know what time it is? I don't know. It's beer time. It's toilet time. 
I hadn't heard of any of the beers in the German grocery store, so I picked the two that looked like the most regal. The other one is a uh, Kronbacher. Is Tros, how do they say <laughs> this part of the world? We always are like, should we make an exclusive train video? Surely we can't make it a full length video and then we talk nonstop. I just upgraded my travel situation for like outlets and cords and stuff and I want to share it. Somebody cares. First of all, I got this, how do you say this brand? I don't know, Cotopachi? To put all my cords and it has three compartments, which is great because you can like have one for three things. Uh, but that's not the cool thing. I also spent a stupid amount of money but if you buy nice things, they last and they work really well and they make you happy every single day. I bought this, it's, this isn't sponsored. Uh, Anchor brand has two USB, two USB-Cs, two outlets, and it's like really nice and it lays really flat. And so now this is the only thing I need, plus the adapter, and I can put it here. And I can reach into my really organized pouch I can charge all my stuff. And that's it, my public service announcement is over. What do you reckon that is, like 80% cotton? Maybe 100% cotton. <laughs> Couples have um, things that they. What am I trying to say? Um, couples have different strengths in their relationship. Uh, mine lie in bed making. What else? How long is that list? It's actually a very short list. It's not very long. But I do make a good bed, which is important because you sleep in it every night. In this case, just tonight on this train, but I enjoyed doing it. The, sh the sheet doesn't seem long enough, but I've done a nice job at keeping it all tucked in. Okay, so there we go. Here we go. Inviting, right? One negative. This is a really pretty pathetic pillow. This isn't sponsored, by the way. It's ridiculous that we even have to say that I can't believe we've been sponsored by a train company. There was a little girl, and she had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Oh, sure. Breakfast. It's served. Oh, whoa. Oh. Our tickets include breakfast anytime you want it. It's just two rolls, some butter, and some apricot, rose apricot, jam, and coffee. Uh oh. What? Oh, we're having a great blind debate. Hayes over here doesn't like the sun in his eyes. He, on the other hand. Oh! Oh, we're going full blackout. I'm, a, I'm here for the view. I mean, now what are we gonna do? What are we supposed to do now? Just talk to each other? Nice name. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 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 careful. Okay. Yes. All right. Just one packet. Okay. Have we mentioned how nice the staff are on this train? <laughs> Mr. Medi. And uh, Petra too. And Petra. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. 
Monkey fly down. If you've been following us on trains, you'll know that we love trains because we love train snacks. Train. Flying Legos. Um, I went to the grocery store before the train. I spent about 19 euro. Here's what I got. No, you didn't get that. These bears, I thought they were like three dimensional. It turns out they're just Pringles. Sour cream and onion chips. Animal crackers. Two okay. bananas. Haribo, and I have a bone to pick with Haribo. They had like 15 different kinds. But it's so hard to find my favorite, which I think, what are they called? But they have something to do with football? The little I round ones, we know what I'm talking that. about. Yes. They're I hard to find. I'll show you which one, which favorite one. This, this, this pink one loves the chocolate right here is my favorite. Maybe it's probably licorice, but cool. We got two different chocolates. I got this one because Pete is boring and he likes plain chocolate. Oh, but which one got opened? The delicious one with the little biscuits in between. He also likes plain chips, but I just refuse to buy some flavored chips. Was that it? Oh, I got these strawberry bars for Hayes. And we bought the two beers that you saw last night. Big smudge on there. It's a train race. What's that mean? We're racing a train. Are we? Still recording. Oh, you all want to see the toilet. Let's go. So on our carriage, there are two toilets. There's this one, there. And that's something new, and a really welcome feature on these new uh, wagons. It's a disabled toilet, right there. Okay, just checking in. It is 11 o'clock. We get in at 11.51, so yes, I am still in my pajamas. I just wanted to tell you what this train costs because I finally looked it up. I paid, we paid, 341 euros for this. Which is a lot. Definitely a splurge, but I think I figured that like for three of us to fly to Vienna would have probably been around a hundred bucks a piece. I don't know, and this is way nicer. Um, you can, in this, is it this category? You can do shared, who I think so, yeah. You can do shared. Um, Hayes is like pushing the size where we could really share a bed with him and that's not fair to do to other people. So it's a nice way to rationalize spending a lot of money on a fancy night train, which we did. And we left, uh, we were due to leave at 8.24 last night from Hamburg. We just got an email that we actually left at 8.25 uh, as an American where our airlines and stuff don't care if they're late. It's hysterical to me that they send you an email to show you that you're one minute late, whatever. Uh, and we're arriving at 11.51. So it is quite a long train ride. Pete and I were discussing like what's the perfect length or time overnight train for us. This is pretty close, because you get on, it's not too late. We, do, we had dinner, we went to the station, we weren't rushed, we weren't wasting a lot of time. And then you have lots of time in the morning to chill, but like not too much. I think the ideal for me would be getting on at like maybe six or seven. So you have like a little more evening time, time to go to sleep, and then getting off at like maybe 11 or 12. So this is pretty close to like a perfect overnight sleeper route for us. This is really great, actually. Uh, we didn't realize that the train stops in Vien Meidling, that's how you say that, uh, which is the neighborhood we're staying in, which is a little bit outside of the city center. So we were able to jump off, and I think we'll be maybe within walking distance to where we're staying. So if you want to see that, feel free to subscribe and follow along, because our next video will be from here in Vienna. And tomorrow is Hayes' birthday. So hopefully we'll be having a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this one. Let us know, have you been on a night jet? You wanna go on one?